going on, guys? We are back for another episode of the Chillin' with Villains podcast. Yeah. We are on episode 86. We will be reviewing The Mandalorian season two, episode one, that just finished dropping. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome to all new listeners. Welcome. I am Clown Prince sitting here with our producer, um, Ozzy Mandias, our our boy from New Jersey, Zoom, and the, the fastest car in all of Westchester, <laughs> my guy Magneto. But we can't forget. I know we he's got, super Hollywood. We right got now. the other producer Itachi here in the back. Yeah, shout out to my nephew. Say what's up. Yeah. Just say what's up. Uh, <laughs> he bu- we, he we bumped into me, right? We just saying hi. Just say what's up. All right, there you go. That's <laughs> all I needed. Up? You say what's, what's up? up? Yo, he bumping that trippy right now. He like that but... fucking depressing ass music. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So we just got the chance to watch The Mandalorian season two, episode one, season premiere, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're gonna break it down. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Um, so let's do this, y'all. I mean, first and foremost, like I'm just happy it's back. I miss the show. Yeah. I know Mark has his... Uh... <laughs> Mark is so excited. Nah, honestly, it's been the, the in terms of live action TV shows, it's been, like, slow. So I don't, like... In terms I think, of, I think I, that's why I was more in, excited Yeah, as in well. terms of yeah. shit coming out, even I was a little excited too. It was like, it's something. Got, something we new. We got content. Yeah, content. That was a pretty action-packed yeah. first episode. And it was a good, solid first episode. Here's the thing. It was... 52 minutes and it still felt like so 30 quick minutes, 30 like minutes. a 30 minute like so episode quick, that they do yeah. i was like very good pacing what? yeah right that, and that's the yeah. thing because they're not jam-packing too much action at the same time they're not you know also having like those slow because you know a couple episodes last season you kind of felt the drag like yeah. okay yeah. Let, let's but move on it, it, but that w- again that wasn't like something that's like oh um it, it was only dragging because it wasn't it nothing it had nothing and to do, with, do the story. with the plot right yeah, with the story so like why are we watching yeah. this and so obviously like, it's the first episode yeah, so, like, so it's setting mind. things up I, well you, you can, don't you know can, that yet it could still relate uh, to the story well, okay it could maybe in the future yes but as of right now it didn't so like watching it it was like it felt like why like why am i watching this so like i i can i can watch a whole episode of mandalorian if it doesn't have any action that's fine but at least make the shit relevant to the plot right the, like, di- the dialogue the conversations yeah, make like, it relevant to the plot yes we so. get it mark you're a hater <laughs> <laughs> let's move on nah it's all right I, I i do agree with mark on on some points definitely like so so with this episode in particular because that's what we're talking yes, about sorry the no no worries bro you don't have to apologize sorry <laughs> <laughs> um the scene, right, where he goes into, uh, and spoiler warning, obviously. Yes, we will talk about everything. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the scene where he goes inside of the sand creatures. Dragon. You know, they call it their dragon, right? Yeah. Yeah. The sand dragon. It's a sand like pit. What is it credited as? <laughs> <laughs> On IMDb? Yeah, check out IMDb. Ate, What's it credited that as? That thing ate the Sarlacc. Yeah. And, right, he's like, he's like, oh, I, have, I don't have time to explain. I'm just like, ah, that's lazy writing. You're just... You're just lazy. I get that. I 100% agree. Like that stuff that, needs to be explained. Think, like you Wait, what say, needs like, to be explained? Him surviving, that thing, biting, swallowing him whole. Hey, yo. And, like, I get it. He could have been electrocuting him the whole time because that's probably what he was doing you saw with his no, blaster. Well, you saw it no sounds like he... It, oh, sounds. It looked like he went in his stomach because he came out with all the schmegma around him. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when he opened <laughs> his mouth... Shmegma. I can't say schmegma. This guy laughs every time. <laughs> this guy... Look at this fucking guy. All right, okay. <laughs> this fucking laptop stand. <laughs> Mad Hollywood. Anyway. Yo, what is a Watchmen graphic novel? When that dragon, like, opened his mouth, it was, like, like lightning inside. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then it showed him with, like, his, uh, you know, his weapon where he electrocutes. Mm-hmm. So that probably made him, like, that probably made the dragon, like, want to throw up or some shit. I don't know. Right. That's the thing. You don't know. Nobody we, so we need we like need sort of an explanation. It's like just, we're never going to get one. I know. We're <laughs> right. never. We're never. That, that's the lazy that's writing lazy part. That's lazy writing. But that's just so, like how badass Mando is. Like, he made it out of a fucking dragon, a sand dragon's stomach. I get it. Right. It's I, more I, badass I, I, I can, when it's explained. Yes. <laughs> but, I can, yeah, I, can, I, I No, I, I like, hear you. Like with Batman. Like, he has contingency plans and he explains shit when he does it. 
or after he does it, like, oh, I love why? when he does that shit. Yeah, like, and, and you just like, you, like and you end here's up looking, how I beat you. Yeah, like he like lays <laughs> like it just out, shames like, him. Here's here's how pussy you are. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like here's so, how so, buns yeah. you so are. So you're saying you're saying you want exposition as to why and how he did that. Yeah. No, he's saying he, he wants say Mandalorian something. to fight Batman. So <laughs> yeah. Now that we're talking about that, who would win? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it now. Stop it right Stop now. It. Stop it right now. Come on. Now. Mando. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just in unison, Mando. Um, but no, that to me was the only yeah, real. That was the only real. Oh, problem and, <laughs> and shout out to um, who was uh, Homeboy's character? The guy that was in the episode with him. Oh, Timothy Oliphant. Uh, yeah. What was it? No, what was it? AKA his, uh, Cobb Van- Vanth. Cobb Vanth. Vanth. We so, thought it was Cobb Vance. <laughs> Vance Refrigeration. Van, so, so, Bob, so Vance, Vance, Bob Vance. So Vance Bob refrigeration. Vance Refrigeration, right? Yeah. Uh, what do you do? The only other scene that I was sort of like <laughs> iffy on was when he put on like, um, what's his name? Boba, right? Boba, Boba Fett's Fett. Yeah, shit. Boba Fett's. Yeah. And armor. so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, when he put on the armor and just showed up to the bar, like he, I was just like, yo, first of all, he looks buns. He looks straight buns. <laughs> Second of all, he looked mad awkward the way he was yeah, standing. He was like, well, because he's a lanky dude, yeah. so I think no, it's not that his hands too. It was like yeah, he's always closing his hands, he's like, but he's so, dope. I liked him. No, nah, I fucked with him. I fucked I like with him. him. But the only thing was, yeah, like the soldiers that just ran that area were just like, I, right, I'm like, we're leaving now because we can't handle ten, this ten one dude. Dipped out. But I get it to a certain extent because Mandalorians are well known across the galaxy they were, they were, as like, they dude, look, they have a, like they have respect behind their yeah right. You know who they Their are. Their name, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Especially, oh, especially you got to remember, he's wearing Boba Fett's armor. They probably low key thought that was Boba Fett, and Boba Fett has mm, a fucking rep that's yeah, true. super rep. Yeah, that's so true. They're gonna see someone repping Boba Fett. Like, oh shit! Did they run from the bar? No. no. So, so he, he clapped the people in the bar, yeah. and, and then, then the other see. soldiers was like, "I right, we out." How did they, they just got clapped. How did they yeah. see him? Huh? How I think I think him? you're just getting way too like, Am I? deep into this. Yeah, you're, you're no, starting that, to sound like Ariel. You're starting like, to sound like Ariel. You're getting way too Wait, deep into on. this. They were, already, <laughs> they were already running. But like, hold on. <laughs> wow. Yo. This guy. <laughs> Wait. There's two the doors there. right there. Uh, nah, I have you're two questions. a little bit. Oh, uh, nah. You really are. Oh, I, I, I don't even know what. I, I asked how they saw him, and I'm nitpicking? Bro. Wait. All right. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You said that he sounds like me now? Bro, uh, we're not getting into that right now. Is Mark nitpicking or not? What's the verdict? But I don't know what... I'm oh, sorry. I was like, trying to set this That's up. That's crazy. Uh, me, so, uh, it's that laptop stand. <laughs> so, uh, no, I, was, right? I was saying how... I asked a question. I said, how did they see him? The people that ran away, they the weren't in the bar. In the, that weren't in the bar. So They just when, ran away. When, um, and then he stepped out. When Bob Vance refrigeration, They were came. all in there, dude. <laughs> No shot. They ran out of another building. My guy, he's a like he's a Mandalorian. If a, if a Mandalorian pulls up and starts clapping no, no, my boys, no, I'm, I, I get that. Where, I agree. We, Mark's but asking, saying, where were they? Where where do, where were they in the bro? In they the heard bar? it. They heard the doo doo doo. They heard the theme song playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I answered your question, <laughs> right? <laughs> Listen, they're like, oh shit. That they I like, I think that that doesn't matter. So it's an epic. It That's could, meaningless. It could be. It, meaningless. It could be, but I don't know. I don't know. Because it depends. Where, did We're that, talking about a, 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 one of the pivotal senses of a human being. And I'm asking, how did they see what this is, person? What is a pivotal and nobody sense? nobody can give me an answer and I'm nitpicking? All right. Uh, I'm not telling you. I don't we think it's him. a nitpick. We could run it back. Mark, are, are you upset? We can I'm, run it back. I'm, 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 this just, is I'm why we have a 65 yes. inch TV. I'm just, We're running it back. I'm floored. So for as those, to for those put it on me. Just put it on me. Right, 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 right. That's How true. is this not a big How do I deal? This? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, there you just go. press the volume button. Yeah. I think yeah. this is episode one. Um, is this episode one? Of the very first. <laughs> yeah, this is episode one season. You spilled my drink. Like, dude. So while we're waiting for this, hold on. For those that are listening, we. We're watching from the TV to to see if Mark nitpicked or not. Yeah, so. we're judging. Oh, so is it hard? If, if he Yo, came, if he, if is a challenge flag? Is a challenge flag? Challenge flag. I think we're gonna have a couple. So it's uh, <laughs> it's a good thing we got this TV. So it's it's 
it comes down to what votes, I guess. But what if it's you know fifty fifty? Then what? No, I think let's no, just no. We're just let, gonna try to let's find let out the sense. <laughs> how these motherfuckers? Let's so let our senses. Like I just want to know. I'm prove fucking, the point. All right, so for, yo, we saw no Moff Gideon bullshit. here. Change the name. All right, Moff Gideon's a dope ass name. While we're that waiting, sounds villain villain name. Yeah, I love that's it. a very villain I love name. It. Yo, so <clears throat> what? What happened? He's got his headphones on, right? right. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually Boba Fett's armor. Yes. Yeah. And, and the we per- and, and the we person saw him at the, in end. the end is maybe, Aquaman's dad. It's maybe Boba Fett. Aquaman's dad. No, it is crossover. No, it's the actor that played Boba Act. Fett. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who did he play? Father. He played. I'm having a brain fart. Who did he play, Ariel? Wait, what? Who did he play? Jorah Fett. No. He played. Wait, you talking about the guy that pulled up at the end? Aquaman's dad? Who did he play previously in Star Wars? Oh, Boba Fett. No, but like, is that oh, confirmed? Oh, he voiced. He he dubbed Boba Fett. All right, fam. I got you right now. That's that's, that's also why, we, that's why, why I have the IMDb. mic stand. Yeah, that's this episode why. is not sponsored by IMDb. He didn't play Boba Fett. That's a fact. How you know? Because I know. Okay. Damn, so I'm Star Wars episode. I must be burned. <laughs> he dubbed his voice later when they like did like the remake. Oh, okay. Of it. He played. He was twisted <laughs> oh, my tea. son was twisted T over here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, my son was done so. Let's see. Uh, He's in Attack of the Clones. Oh, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. Like, Why oh, you right get here, to right that? Right here, right, right here. here. Okay, here so here Watch. we go. So the see. challenge flag has been in play. We need a. We All right. A flag. Yeah. Can we? Can we? What is? No. What is the? What is the charge? Like what? Is, what's going char- on? Okay. So pause it real quick. Uh-huh. My charge is that I don't know how the guys who ran into the car saw him and said, "Let's just get the fuck out of here." Uh, like what? So we we challenged it. We're gonna see if this is a nitpick or not. I don't know what the if, big if, deal if, is. If though. Mark Mark has I have a, one time out left. I don't think I don't think this is I don't think this is nitpicking because this Mark is has one nitpick left if he loses this challenge. Fine. By the way. <laughs> How are we just setting rules up on the fly? <laughs> I'm like fine. That's whatever. him. All right, Daniel Logan played Boba Fett. Oh, uh, okay. And so, yeah, attack he of the clones. Alright, so he's clapping all these people. He clap, all clap, Boom, clap. Okay, oh, he gets stupid. hit. Done. Clap, because the armor. So he's walking out. Walked out. Mad awkwardly. They, they, they were probably no in the bar. They were probably in the bar and went out through the other side. <laughs> What's the problem? Now nah, I'm gonna yeah, speak. He's in Django terms. Fett. He's Django Fett. All right, hold on. I agree with Mark on this. <laughs> they Te didn't muera, see him at all. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I'm going with Mark on this. <laughs> let's quit the Nick picking. Mark proved the point. My Wait, thing is, he I, did not play Boba Fett. I, what's the big deal? I don't oh get... Oh, Bro, we're, we're, it's fine. Let's no, that's ahead. what I'm saying. Like, I don't... No, it's fine. Like, it's not a complaint. He's just right. He made but a, he's right. He made, he made a, a good, good point. point. Yeah. How did they he see made him? a good point. That's all I'm saying. They were not they in, were the, in bar. the bar. They were not in the bar. Were, were you in were? the bar? That's the only entrance were, were into the bar. bar. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true, Bro, but they were not in the bar. Bro, it's a Disney show. He's going to defend it. It's okay. Oh, Disney representative. This is what happens. Okay, cool. So now back onto the other topic. Yeah. Of Boba Fett. So who played him? Okay. Boba Fett was played by someone else. The guy Daniel you see, Craig. The older guy. Daniel <laughs> Craig. The the older gentleman, um, who was also Arthur's dad in Aquaman, is played by Temuera Morrison. Shout out to him. He played from, Django Fett. From from New Zealand. He's a fellow Kiwi. Not that I'm a Kiwi, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what happened? No, oh, no, no, no. I just, I'm just gonna put my hood on. We all have, we all putting our headphones on other things, not our, like not our heads. I feel left out. Whoa. Oh, you have beanies. Oh. He has a hat. He has a hat. <laughs> oh, I feel left oh out. okay. Even he, even he yeah, has a hat. Hat. Yeah. <laughs> He's so confused right now. What's going on? He's literally all right. So Tamuera Morrison played Django Fett. All right. Okay. Yeah. So Django Fett, as Django. we all know, I think, is he is the original. He's the original guy. They used him to make the clones. Right. Ooh. Yeah. And, and one that's of how the clones, Clone Wars started? One of the clones is Boba Fett. Boba Fett looks just like that actor. We've never seen Boba Fett's face, ever. But we can assume that he looks like Jango Fett because that guy is 
they use his face for all the clones. Right. Yep. Even in like the animated series. Nope. Yep. Now that could mean that the guy we see at the end might not be Boba Fett. It could just be another clone, but that's very like um that's kind of whack if they do that. It's right. definitely Boba Fett because that is his, his armor. armor. Bo- you know that felt in the uh what is it called? Sand carpet? Sand- yeah, sand, sand carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Damn, so yeah. Y'all know what? Killing it. No, right no, 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 no. See, fast. see, look. The thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna shoot my guy some bail because he is bail. my fellow correspondent. Bail for what? For mispronouncing stuff in Star Wars related. Yeah, dude, it's a lot of shit. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's, it's a, a galaxy lot. far, far away. It is. It's, it's literally a whole universe. And it happened universe. a long time. Right. It's Sarlacc. <laughs> Sarlacc. It's, a, it's an entirely invented universe. Like so I don't to care all the all the like Star Wars, you know, like fandom that like know their shit. Like props to you. Like, yeah, for and don't get mad when we say yeah, something right. wrong. Right, because people yeah. are like, oh, oh, that's all you it's say. Fucking, dude, it's an Ewok, not a fucking whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that is, bro. It's a fucking Sarlacc pit. <laughs> so, yeah. But you was doing good. So, I, I guess Boba's alive. I don't know how the fuck he's alive because yeah. he literally got eaten by that fucking What's Sarlacc. So. Actually, that is a great thing to bring up because... Same way Mando got eaten by something and found a way out. Maybe he found a way out too. Because mm. yeah, it was also completely different things, though. I know, but it was also really maybe, wacky. Maybe it could be a nice little like hint, though. Yeah, because it was also really wacky the way Boba Fett died. Like the most one of the yeah, most ah! notorious bounty hunters out yeah. here. He got accidentally hit by uh, Han Solo and yeah. he just flew off. Did you watch? <laughs> he did you watch it recently? It was whack. He literally just slid off and yeah, fell, fell inside. Down the pole. <laughs> and he had the corniest little scream. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine them doing some shit like that to Mando. Like we would all be like, Yeah, Ooh. we would be like, all right. uh, let me not say that. This I feel like Mando has, has right now more credit than Yo. Than who Boba would win, does. Mando or Boba? Were you gonna find out? Mando. <laughs> We're gonna find nah, out. Nah, Mando has has uh, proven over the course of nine episodes now that he is that guy. He is so so right that I already love how we got from the jump. Even like you said, it you're like okay, no dialogue, dope. I kind of like those starts. It's just like no, it's very well. It, it gives you sort right, yeah, a very nice like okay, you're, you're settling in. You kind of get it. You kind of get it in. as soon as it comes. Um, I like the drawings that they showed on the wall when they were um, walking. Um, I think it was like a lot of stormtroopers, like. You oh, guys yeah. probably didn't see because of the glare. Yeah, I didn't see. It's our first favorite. night here, guys. We're, we're working it out. We're working it. Um, but yeah, so and then when they got into that bar, and you know, he, he asked for help. Not not bar, but the uh, the fight club. Yep. Shit that was going on. Yeah. Um, and the guy was like, "Oh yeah, I heard you. You bring that thing with you everywhere." And I'm just like, "Damn! Like everyone knows you, Mando. Like you need to stop, you know, really trying to go to people, but." He needs to. He needs yeah. to get information. Yeah, he does. So he's looking for another Mandalorian. He always got that thing on him. Right. Because <laughs> so basically the premise of this, you know, episode and this season as a whole, what we're gonna see is, you know, Mando has to deliver baby Yoda <clears throat> or the child as they call him mm-hmm. um to the Jedi. And that's fucking dope. Yeah. Because and he basically got Jedi. nowhere this episode. He all he well, did was get, you know, he acquired Boba Fett's armor. And then he said, "I hope our paths cross again." So he technically never found another Mandalorian. I can't. I, yeah, I can't remember. That's true. Is, is he no, saying because he again the the word was the word on the block was your I the one eyed Willie who he spoke to. Yeah, over there he said, "Oh, I heard there was a Mandalorian on Tatooine." Mm. But that's really Timothy Oliphant's character. Bob, Bob Vance Refrigeration. Yeah, Bob Vance Refrigeration's <laughs> character uh-huh. in a Mandalorian armor. Yeah. Set so, I in mean, a sense, he found what he was looking for, but it just wasn't a. Yeah, but that's what Brian was saying. It didn't amount to anything. Yeah, but that's, I guess that just. Well, well it might amount to something next episode. Depending yeah, on who that guy is. <clears throat> because yeah, I think I think we'll see him again. Um, helping Mando out. Um, you know what? I I kind of. <clears throat> no, I mean, uh, the guy at the end. Boba Fett. Yeah, Boba Fett. I yeah. understand the criticism there because the episode did kind of feel flat at the end, where it's just like, okay, so he got the armor. Moving on now, but like I feel like that's the style of the show. Yeah, it's very western. It's just you, 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 you're yeah, trying to reach the, a goal. The main plan never he works heard, out. He heard the you know the word on the block. Exactly. He went, right. yeah. Didn't get anywhere, so he's gonna move on. Goes he on just saved the adventure. whole fucking yeah. uh, city, though. So. He did. Yeah. Right. I mean, a little road. And I, and I think <laughs> <laughs> fucking Danny the literally street. Danny, Danny the street. The street. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shout out Javan. Yeah. yeah. 
Japan, Japan. Um, no, that that that's very true. But the, you know, we saw that a lot last season too, where he would just go to these little places, yeah, he would say not it. get what he yeah. needs, but save the town. But acquire the, friendships or, or get relationships or, or get something to so, help him. Along. So you're telling me right. he just goes around networking, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Man, he, like, yeah, he, he, he is, is he is LinkedIn. Basically. He is LinkedIn of the Star right. Wars. But here's the thing, though, and here's here's where I kind of sort of um, want to see how they're gonna address this because I feel like it could be like a. Uh, I mean, not really. It's a galaxy far, far away, so they can easily just be like, "Yeah, there was nowhere. He was nowhere near like any of these yeah. people." But like, especially since we're gonna get Ahsoka this season, it's like. You know how how in this new trilogy did no one talk about Mandalorians and. Ma- the Mandalorian, right. and like I get it, it's not really like something well, I should take trilo- too serious because it's like the movies were doing their own thing. Now the Mandalorian comes how, after. How many years yeah, is this? How many years is this? Back? This takes place this is before way when? Before so this is episode five, seven, all right? The thirty years. <laughs> yeah, so that's why. Yeah, thirty and, years. And the Mandalorian was our. The Mandalorians were already kind of like a thing dying out, right? Yeah. Like but in this show. I do have a question. Do, do, so they keep saying, "Oh, I'm," he's, or he's saying, "Like, oh, I have to try. I'm trying to get him to his kind." Mm-hmm. Like uh, they mean the Jedi. I, they mean the Jedi. But okay. but yeah. was that ever? I don't. Remember. I feel like I feel like nobody, especially who he's spoken to, really knows who what the, the Jedi is. look like because they're still they are. Because sounds, because they're it still some like, sort of a. It myth. sounds like they're right. thinking about. So they said sorcerers. They call them sorcerers. Yeah. It sounds like they're thinking so because uh, it sounds like they're thinking about like people who are like Yoda. Like, yeah, that's, exactly, what I that's thought. exactly what they're. Like that's exactly oh, what you mean like his, his literal his species, right? That's exactly what they think. Okay, like okay. that's exactly what people yeah, are thinking yeah, because she, like, was like, like, she was like I, oh. I never saw anybody like this yeah exactly but she but, knows but, he's a Jedi that's the thing the um the main like Mandalorian uh, lady um I don't know what her name is like from, from last season um she said oh, yeah. she knows about the Jedi she was like you need to bring him to the Jedi right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so I forgot we know yeah. as a fandom as the I forgot. audience yeah, mm-hmm. yeah yeah that wasn't that wasn't a criticism and that's the thing that it's weird that her and I'm sure. Mando. I hope she didn't get clapped. Yeah, because she, she seemed did. like she, she was doing it. fine. She did. Yeah, she, I, I don't say I can't remember. I can't remember either. But <laughs> nah, I thought it, she, it was a so. I thought everybody died, but she was fine. She's the only Mandalorian that yeah. Because rem- remember, she was like, "Ah, right, you go. I'm about to take care of business here with what." what and that's like, all like part of. People. They're all part of like his clan, right? Oh, right. She yeah. clapped everybody at the end. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. tough. I remember. I remember. That with her character. She OG. is. She was the leader of his set, though. Who, who, <laughs> his set. His set. <laughs> his, his his crew. Because you saw his emblem. It's like I don't. I think it's a mammoth. What set? No, is the is the the thing that he killed in in season one? Oh, so he. Oh yeah. yeah. Yo, not for nothing that. Zuda armor is phenomenal. Yeah, that looks so and it looks very so expensive, and especially cosplay. in 4K. That shit looks Chef's so good. kiss, love it. That should look phenomenal. Super good. Um, the whole episode. And what do you think about his armor? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my guys, Bob Vance needs a <laughs> an needs a raise. But no, um, I also appreciate it. And this was all the nerds such as Ariel with the whole technical thing, like the aspect aspect Behind ratio, the scenes, yeah. right? It like. It started yeah. off where you could see yeah. the bars, you know, uh, on top and in the bottom, the, and then the during that action yeah. scene, it it filled it up was, the whole screen. Yeah, it and was I was full like, frame. Dope. So that looked. I didn't that even great. like notice until you pointed it out, yeah. and then the, I like I didn't even realize it slowly opening, mm-hmm. but I did notice it closing because you know I was paying attention. And after also, that. it did it appropriately at the end of the episode where. Closing out the storyline, I yeah. guess, and stuff. So I, I thought it was pretty. It yeah, adds, I, I can appreciate that. 100%. It adds a very cinematic feel to it, and I appreciate that very much. And yep. my guy here pointing shit out like that, and I'm just like, yeah, the production on this great. show is, I want to say like <laughs> the best. <laughs> is what is what trust it is. <laughs> it's like one of the best like uh, I've seen. That's right. I can give You're it that. You're welcome. Absolutely. Yeah, the production value. I'm telling you, me and John every, worked CGI, very hard. The CGI out of any, got better. Out of any TV show, hell yeah, this is this is I think the best TV show in terms of production value. Well, the new win. Oh, Game of Thrones a shit, I guess. Dude, this is better. This is this production value. I think is better than Game this of production. I'm talking. Nah, you might be bugging on that. Yo, I don't know. Yo, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, Game of <laughs> Immediate Future. No, no, no. This. I don't know. This looks fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Brian's like, yo. What? What? Well, Dude, I, I, Game I of okay, Thrones shot best. on location. This is shot on a stage somewhere, dude. 
Yeah, I using, know that. Using I'm the saying, new rotoscoping saying, 3D technology, of course, which is great that they're using... Obviously, yes. On set location, obviously, Game of Thrones is going to win. I'm just saying... I'm, I'm saying, talking about more than on set location, my guy. I'm just... I'm Yo, but Game of Thrones, end of the year ago. He's saying now. He's talking about right now. Right now. Oh, you're right talking now. right now. Best this is the right best now. production value of a show. I got it. You got it. <laughs> and, and overall, it's probably second best then to Game of Thrones. <laughs> You said but, second yeah. best to Game of Thrones? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Money? What are we doing? Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah no, I definitely. I, I, I really, you know, that's enjoyed good, it visually that's a great as well. Topic. Um, even, even like where they were just riding. I was like, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying it. Just him the just jet cruising through too. the fucking sand. You know yeah, the jetpacks. Oh, that was, oh, that's one yeah, thing that was yeah, dope. Yeah, the, when they were yeah, fighting yeah, the yeah, sand yeah. monster. Yeah. And was boom. that his first time? Oh no, no. Well, he got nah, it. He, he got it before. He got it at the end. Yeah. The, the guy. He's gave like, it to yeah, because like I need to. And get there's that one of scene those. where he got saved by all like you know the you know his fellow Mandalorians. They were all like jetpacking in, but then he got, I think he just got his jetpack at the end of season one. Right. Mm -hmm. Flew right. away. Right, because in that episode though, where they saved him, he's like, he was looking. He's like, I gotta I get me one of those. Yeah. 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 And then at the else. end of the the season. Like, that that, that was just sounded really good. Really fucking good. I thought that was a sound, but I was like, wow, I was like, did I press play? <laughs> um, yeah, at the end of the season, he got it, and he only used it to yeah just fly off. Yeah, yeah. and then it's the first time we saw it in action, and he's using it alongside uh, fucking Bob Vance. <laughs> Bob Vance for Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they, yeah, they were doing a really good job, and I thought that last fight scene was was actually you know very impressive. You typically yeah. with big monsters like that, you're just kind of like, oh, it's kind of just gonna be you know bland. it's pretty formulaic. The exactly. Way it goes. Yeah, yeah. So, and I love how. You know, they're like, oh, we needed to get it under its belly. Like, that's where its weak spot is. So they blew it up. And I love how they did the same thing the audience did. It was like, he's definitely did not. Did not die. Yeah. Did no not die. Shot. Like, nope. No shot. Definitely not. We, we Who know said better. that? Bob Vance said that, Bob Vance said that first. And, and Mando agreed. He's like, yep. And I love how, again, although the, the little nitpick that we had um, of him going inside and the monster, it that's was still not. smart because... No, I'm sorry. It's not a nitpick. I get it. They should explain it's it. It's a criticism. A criticism. Excuse it's me. It's a valid criticism. Excuse me. Yes, it is. I agree with you. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Um, now kiss. <laughs> but um, the overall thing was he was just saying like, oh, okay, like they said this is his weakness, but maybe it needs to be from the inside right, rather right, than the right, outside. Right. So it paid off eventually. Like mm -hmm. they did blow it up. And... Boy, were those things feasting, huh? Yeah. Oh, he brought a big ass <laughs> Yo, you He got like, a filet, bro. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's chilling. chilling. How you long call that a filet? Dude, he's going to get the salt bay to slice that up for him, bro. <laughs> he's fucking. Yo, bro. <laughs> Brian said, yo, they need, they, got a, they need a big fridge for that. Yeah. They need, nah, a, big ass, freezer, they need a big ass freezer for that, bro. <laughs> yeah. They need to hit up Joe Rogan, whatever he's using for his elk meat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but how long do you think that's going to last, Mando and Baby Yoda? Uh, the rest of the season. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's the supply for the think, rest of the I season. I think until season Baby four, they're needs, good. Baby Yoda just needs like a little chip off right, the fucking like, thing. That shit was no, bigger than Baby Yoda. Eats, bro. He swallowed a whole frog. Like, oh, that's remember? right. Oh, that's yeah. true. He do eat. I, I just give him a frog-sized piece of meat. Yeah. And then he's chilling. He's good for like he's next valid. seven days. Yeah, 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 for next, a week. Next seven episodes, he'll be fine. Something, he was already eyeballing that filet on the fucking yeah. bike. He was already looking at it like, He was like, oh. This is nice. You know something interesting that I pointed out? This ain't no super, frog. Super nerdy of me, I guess. What? Um, so Timothy Oliphant's character in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by Tarantino. Mm -hmm. Y'all should check that out. He plays the same kind of character where he's in a town looking for someone. But it's like swapped. So he was doing what Mando was doing. Yeah. In that film. In a Western setting. Oh yeah. Yes, he he was in there. He was he was, he was, he was on the, the, the movie set. I even like yeah. the the subtle like yeah. him mm -hmm. gonna like point the gun when they're about to fight at the bar. Yeah, was that like, bartender. Yeah, that bartender. Was like, yeah. Oh, that okay. bartender. Like, bro, yo, seat, I can't bar? wipe any more blood off these seats, <laughs> man. Like <laughs> Lysol is Lysol. it's a pandemic. <laughs> 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 like I can't buy wipes like that. Come on. Yeah, not nah, he, he was the whole episode. He was pretty much like, oh my god, like, like dude, oh, can y'all take this outside? outside. He helped nah. them at the end, right? The bartender. Yeah, he did. Yeah, help the, whole, out. the whole town did because you know they had the whole beef with um those creatures, yeah. which Mandalorian could speak to. <laughs> yeah. So all like twelve people from the town. <laughs> right. It was a small ass town, and it's funny because 
man, yo, Mando knows his shit. He for knows real, that language. And real. you pointed it out where he was he was actually having a fire with uh, them yeah. when he was going to that yep, village. He, he yep. broke bread with them. Right. And that and that just goes to show how well traveled he is as well. Right. Obviously. He's yeah. he's visited Absolutely. galaxies and all that shit. So there is a diplomatic uh, approach to him, which is something that I'm sure you're familiar with. Yeah. Being the diplomat of the pot and all that. Yeah, I can appreciate. But he, he's like the Batman of Star Wars, the Star Wars universe. Who, Mando? Mando? Yeah, I, I do get that vibe. He has, he's got the gadgets. He's got the fucking. He can fight. He's right. He's when, he put, when he when he uh, in the beginning when he put that guy on the um yeah the uh, light bulb. Oh, that reminded me down. of. Uh, do I look like? Do I look like a cop? <laughs> no, that reminded me of Batman vs Superman. He was just dragging Superman yeah. and then he like hung him. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, too. that too. Yeah, Some goaded movie. But in other news, um, <laughs> but no, and and it goes to show as well Mando's character that he sort of indirectly brings people together. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not it's not his intention. Like his mm-hmm. intention is not like okay, you and you need to make up. But even he said it in the fireplace. It's he's just like, common sense, right? It's like enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. So it's like okay, if we want to beat this thing, we have to work together, whether we like it or not. Yeah. And he's like yeah. afterward, like I don't care who gets clapped here. I don't care if none of you survive. Yeah, I love how him, him, and him and the fans were just like sit, sit, sit in the back, just watching everybody get vomited on, <laughs> eaten. They're just and like, just, and they're just, they're like, just like, hmm, how can we attack yeah. this? <laughs> right. Yeah, homeboy, like, homeboy just got yacked on. Yeah, He's just like, like, yo, so what do you think we should like, do? Yo, you have a plan? You want to go mm-hmm. fly up there? Maybe we could shoot it a couple times. And- no, I got a plan. I'm just going to let him swallow me. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> That's a timeout. <laughs> That's a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> FBI open. <laughs> nah, but you know what's really funny? The the dude, that one dude that they sent out there with the yak. Yo, yeah. And we thought he was going to... They, they he thought was we were setting it up. Yak. Yeah, oh, yeah. And he's the one that got eaten. It was like, damn. That's like... That's pretty funny. It is. Yeah, That's absolutely. Hilarious. It is. Because it just goes to... Like, to me, it goes to show, like... I know they didn't take this as literal as I'm about to say it, but you know how we eat meat all the time. It's like, what if there's like a bigger monster than us that's going to eat us? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. and they, they even pointed it out too. They were just like, well, looks like it ventures out into eating th- different Th- things. This, you, this you, episode was written by a vegetarian. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Imagine well, it was. But another, vegan. another vegan. thing. A vegan. Vegan. <laughs> another all? thing is that no one, no one Tatooine, no offense. this is the first time we're on this planet since Rise of Skywalker. In a sense, yeah. Like well, wasn't Mando? He went last season. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying since Rise of Skywalker, right? Because Rise of Skywalker yeah. came out did after he? after Mando. It did. Yeah, it like, December. Right, the yeah. season finale of Mando dropped, and two weeks later yep. it was Rise of Skywalker. So right. yeah. we get to now Small see that Tatooine. Small Tatooine is still pretty desolate. Yeah. Post uh, Return of the Jedi, and it's still as fucking dangerous because the Tusken Raiders are still out there, and then also freaking Sand Dragon. So I think that there's some really cool world building that they're doing here, even though it already exists. I'm just saying that they're adding to the lore of it. Like, yo, like shit is yeah. still fucked up on this side. Right. So I just think it'll be pretty interesting if Tatooine becomes almost the setting, like a this. hub. Not the yeah, oh, like more like the mean, hub, right. like where he goes, like he comes back to to regroup HQ, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Type almost like a safe house. <laughs> oh, I gotta go to corporate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the Mando Cave. Yeah, Mando. but that's cool. <laughs> Mando the Cave. Mando Cave. All the way in Tatooine. But I can I can appreciate, you know, again that one saying with you know wherever he goes I go. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh no sorry wherever I go he goes. Right. I'm just like yo he's that's such fire. he's such a good like dad. <laughs> It's yeah, a baby right? Yoda. Yeah. And he, so, he's doing that almost without any kind of hesitation. Without, like, because no he's, doubt. Because he had reservations about it at first, and he's just like, you know what? Like, this is my guy now. And I, I love that scene where baby Yoda, when, you know, he didn't know what happened to Manu, he was like, um, he better come back. Like, yeah. also about, I'm also about to block on this fucking thing. <laughs> like, I'm really about to Bali. <laughs> what season? No, no, I this mean, episode. What, what, what part? When uh, he got, he got when swallowed he got, up. He got swallowed up. Eaten, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he got eaten, and then, uh, yeah, he was just and, and, like, and the child was just like, yo, um, you coming back? <laughs> like, <laughs> but my, so here, here's my thing. Here's my, my takeaway. Um, and what's kind of <laughs> what's kind of getting me excited for this season. There, there's there's three things on my list right now. Three things on the list. The Stephen A list. Oh, yeah, Stephen's A list, yeah. So 
Why? A, um, we didn't see him this episode, but Moff Gideon. Yeah. Um, and fresh off the boys, Absolutely. I'm excited for um, any Giancarlo Esposito content. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so He's him awesome. as, as another villain, I'm just like, I'm for it. So, yes, sir. And the Darksaber, of course, because that shit looks Dude, great. Wait, is that the official name? The Darksaber? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Um, I want one. Two. Same. Bro, you've, that's been around. I wasn't cursed with knowledge, and now I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, yo, I'm going to violate you later. Bro. Yeah, it's in so. Clone Wars. You oh. think he watched the Clone Wars? <laughs> Come on. Yo, Clone Wars is lit. Don't get it twisted. I'm hopping back on that. Um, two, so I said Moff Gideon. Number two, yep. Boba Fett. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. So I'm, I'm wondering, are they going to do like Boba Fett? I hope they don't do him dirty and make him sort of like the side villain while Moff Gideon is do you think the he's actual like, villain of season two. Him? No. Um, nah. I don't think so. I think... Well, like, I what, think sorry, go ahead. Sorry. They can't. They couldn't have built up Moff Gideon now to just not really have him be the villain of season two. So I think yeah, he's, he's gonna be the villain. Yeah. I think Boba. They're gonna more set up for season three, maybe. But I don't. I don't know how I feel about that route either. I see I'm it going like, a different way. I think they're gonna link up. Yeah, I you think they them? might link up because we may never see him ag- like again in the season until the end. Boba. Yeah, but that's gonna feel. Wasted, right? It's gonna feel wasted because Boba is such a. To me, he's a he's pretty important at least, uh, like as of right now. Yeah, I mean, he, they well, they, they, like, they just teased him right there. We were just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he just looked at him. He was like, oh man, that, that was literally the premiere. And it seems Boba like Fett. yeah, <laughs> like, and yeah, it seems like and it seems like he's he's living on Tatooine yep. clearly. So, so then maybe maybe the person he was hearing about was Boba Fett instead of that guy. That's the thing. So. Mm, um, no, nah, I think it could have just nah. been a misunderstanding. Uh, it could, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, uh, yeah, it I think been, Boba yeah. Fett's been like chilling and hiding. Yeah, probably. I mean, he has, yes, absolutely. But uh, I mean, I don't know if he's like, what would be his reason for beefing with Mando? Yeah, right. Well, I guess we'll find out. He has okay. no reason at all. Yeah, because like he's not, he's not a bounty hunter oh, anymore. The, the child. He could he's be. Not, he could be like, that's my anymore. dad's armor. No, I think it's just the child. He's a bounty hunter. But he's not anymore. He doesn't have the season of his armor or anything like that. So he's just gonna do. I mean, you could still be a bounty hunter, bro. He literally bro. fell into well, that fucking. Well, not only that, like the child. So, <laughs> literally, Mando has the biggest target on his back. He has the oh, child. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he is. So, yeah. whatever Boba Fett's reasoning is, it doesn't matter. He has a reason, regardless. It's he's just, just like, like, oh, I want money. Right. He could, it could be his way back in to like whatever. Like, hey, I've been missing. If I bring the child here, boom, I'm 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 back. I'm back, baby. It's all me. Or it could what be what it do, baby. Right. Or or he could just be like, yo, fuck this dude walking around that dope ass armor. Oh, I want that oh shit. and he took my shit. Say less. And he's got a cute ass baby. <laughs> the yo, fuck. The fuck. Right. So then, oh, and then my third thing on my list. Um. So I said Moff Gideon, Boba Fett. Of course, the Jedi. Like, Ooh, are we gonna? They, are we think, gonna? Oh, are we gonna see? Um, yeah, Soka. Yeah, yes, her. Yeah, so I that's, think that's confirmed for season two. Yeah, yeah, that's confirmed. Rosario's and, playing, right? Fire. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I think I actually want to piggyback off of that mm-hmm. list. I think that the Jedi are gonna play a huge role in dealing with Moff. Yeah. Oh, and and another thing. So I guess four things on my list. <gasps> wow, you're getting kind of greedy, bro. I Damn. Know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's usually five. Stephen A's list is five. It's five, right? Five. Yeah, I don't want to say right. three. You know, five is just a little. But Watch. I'm going four. Um, there you go. <laughs> you could get two more things, bro. Different. You could get two more things. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just excited to to see how it's going to be with Mando trying to give up. I know it's probably not going to happen this season. Mm. But him trying to give up the child to the he's not. He's not. He's get, not I feel like he's, he's not going to be capable of it. Why I, not? I think he wants best. You know, I, he wants what's oh, best. That's I, think also he, true. I, I think he. I think he might just stay true. with them. Like he yeah. might just be like, "Yo, like if he stays, I'm staying. Like I'm staying with him. I'm gonna watch him. I'm gonna make sure you guys don't do no f- fuck shit with him." Yeah, because this is the way. And also, the Ooh. Jedi are kind of. They're kind of in the same space that they were at the start of the Force Awakens, where it was just we're just they're just a myth. There's not. We don't know um, if anyone else is born a Jedi again, which we came to to find out at the end of uh, 
um, Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. <laughs> that Not children. The I won't hear anyone say anything. Thank you. Children are. <laughs> oh yeah, hold that. Children are born with this gift that you can be born with this gift. So right. it's gonna I, be I really. Hate, I hate how the Star Wars fandom does that, where it's like. Oh, but but that little kid wasn't like lineage. It's like it's, that's the point. Who cares? The point is Just to get away anyone, from the fucking Skywalker. Fucking right. Bullshit. Anyone can be like not anyone can be a Jedi, but like you can have the force. You can have the you force. can have the force and not be a Jedi. Exactly. Right. It's okay. You meet. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Like you know. That what about those kids that fucking Anakin killed? They weren't part of a, any lineage. Yo, was like, yo, what? Wait till Mando finds out about that. He's like, oh, word, he did what? Nah, I ain't leaving the child here with y'all. Y'all exactly bugging. because again, Mando knows of the Jedi, but he said, you know, it's through word of mouth. Yeah, like, I know and about the, and these the Jedi guys. are flawed. Exactly, like They're these are flawed, flawed sorcerers. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Again, right? Like he he can be like, okay, maybe I want what's best for the child, but is bringing him back to the I'll Jedi or bringing him to the Jedi what's really best for him? Maybe yeah. what's really best for him yeah. is, is to just be with me, and even though even though <laughs> be with going, a Mandalorian who's fucking just action packed. All well, the time. no, I'm saying in case like let's say wherever he goes and finds the Jedi and he looks around, it's like yo, like. Maybe he's not better off here because we don't mm -hmm. know. Again, yeah. the, again, the Jedi are flawed. They're my, disbanded. My, you know, Anakin, An not Anakin, uh, Luke. Luke, Luke yeah. went into hiding. Yep. Right after the Return of the Jedi. Um, Dude, imagine. Well, it wasn't right imagine. after. Imagine. Not, well, not it's this season, assumed but... that he's been there for 30 years on a desolate island on his own. He cut everyone Wait, off. Right. when does the, I know you're not caught up on the Clone Wars, neither am I, but when does that take place? Because the fact that Ahsoka is showing up. Clone Wars know. takes Clone place. Clone Wars is between two and three. Yeah. So, oh, makes, so this so, is after. Yeah, so it makes sense that so she's, she's a that bit she, older. That she's Rosario Dawson. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She's a so bit older. Child. Perfect. Yeah. Chef's yeah. kiss. I like that. And um, yeah. let me see here real also, quick. Also, my question like about this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, between two and three. Is like where, if this baby Yoda does live through this series. Watch your mouth. Don't, even, why, don't, why, even, don't yeah. even put that back. You're moving what, you mad, baby bro, Yoda's going to die? I don't think that. You're moving just, mad, bro. I don't think that. I'm just saying if. Just <laughs> move. Get that pasa. So, <laughs> you're talking crazy. You're talking um, crazy. You're talking crazy. Uh, where was he, like, all this time? Yeah. Like, 30 during, years into the future? During the new trilogy, yeah. That is a great question, and Wait, I who? can't answer that. I know you can't. Baby Yoda. But I'm just saying. I'm like, that's just a question. No, I literally I, contractually I, can't answer that. <laughs> a question that I hope is, I mean, they're definitely going to answer it. There's well, no they, way they did don't they ever that. confirm? Well, I, obviously, I'm bugging. Never mind. I'm going to say some dumb shit. What? What that, if it's that's, canon? No, that's obviously not Yoda. Like, like Yeah, 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 of course. But yeah, no. at the same time, we don't know the extent of Yoda's powers. Well, e either or. I mean, like, why, why was he not there for right. the new trilogy? No, I get it. Like, like. I mean, you know what? Okay, I have a good explanation of that. Maybe this took place in a certain part of the galaxy that, because remember, the trilogy is pretty contained. No, nah, but they're Tatooine. Like, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But the, at, at some point, like the Jedi. Well, you think word has to get out? Word gets out dumb species. quick in the prequels, the, <laughs> the original trilogy. No, but the I'm, saying, trilogy. I'm saying, is it, is it possible that maybe in 30 years from now, when that old baby is older, he just had no clue about anything. Maybe he was just raising. Maybe he's in a temple in some distant planet raising more Jedi. He has no idea what's going on in the very, other, very true. In the other that's side of the universe, possible. and like, that would be dope as shit. Maybe, maybe that's how it could end up. Maybe, maybe he is now. Maybe uh, like the child is being set up to to be the next face, right? But of the but, next generation but of can't Jedi. Other Jedi. Uh, baby feel Yoda's like gonna die, a, confirmed. Can't, can't <laughs> other Jedi feel like a disturbance and, or not disturbance, but like yeah, awakenings and stuff like that? Like, you know, like strong awakenings? Well, I mean, we you don't mean, got, you we're, mean, we're going down a rabbit hole. Yeah, we're going down that. The, we're going down the I mean, Reddit page. I'm just, of, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I get it, but dude, like, every, every time. I'm not we're, expecting we're gonna, answers. I'm just, but, but. I'm just we're gonna try and give it to you, and then you're gonna buy. But wait, what about this? But wait, what about this? And it's gonna be like this. It's gonna we're be like having this. a Joe Rogan like, like a circle, <laughs> like a circle. There's no corners, right? Never. <laughs> There's no corners. Um, yeah, we we might find out, we might not. We'll see if we like it. We see if we don't. Right, like you said, Baby Yoda could get clapped, and guess who's gonna cry? Me. I'm bawling my eyes out if Baby Yoda gets clapped. That is Me too. ridiculous. Me too. 
Wait, like, so matter of fact, I'm about to change my Disney Plus thing to. to <laughs> so, Baby. does anyone else have a wish list or anything they're expecting out of the season? Because we got a pretty solid first episode. So I uh, trust them. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah. You trust me um, and John, <laughs> and Tyga. Trust none of you guys, just Tyga. Yeah. Just Tyga. Yeah. That's fine because that's an extent of me, so that's fine. Tyga. What does Tyga got to do with this? Tyga. 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 Bob Vance for Federation. <laughs> Um, let's see who directed it. Let's give credit where credit is due. I mean, let's see. Ba-da-dum, ba-da-dum. Shout, yo, shout out to Pedro Pascal. Uh, you mean John yeah. Favreau? <laughs> he directed it? Yeah, first episode. Oh, what a goat. And he wrote it. Oh, shit. John Leguizamo <laughs> played. What? Oh, word? Gore no. Korish? Who, who was Gore Korish? Was he the bartender? One Eye Willie. Oh, dope. Yeah. I didn't even notice. His voice did sound a little familiar. I was yeah. like, who is that? Amy Sidris. Nice. Palimato. You could always count on Star Wars to just throw random people in these roles. Okay, so according to IMDb, our boy... Um, Gore Koresh? No. Uh, Tim Timura. I'm sorry, I butchered Tim that. Wera. Morrison. Tim Wera. Is Boba Fett. Spoilers, IMDb. Yeah, it Spoilers. says it right there. Boba Fett. Yeah. <laughs> They're like... It's not even a secret anymore. Boom. I mean, it's not. Wait, wh- yeah. what are they saying? Temuera Morrison. The, the actor? The actor. He's, he's credited Boba as Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. So that's confirmed. Oh, he's credited as Yeah, Boba he's credited. Fett. He didn't even speak. That's lit. Okay. So um, episode two that will be coming out next week, November 6th. Um, it is written again by John Favreau. Um, doesn't say who it's directed by yet, or does it? No, it does not. But Sasha Banks, the WWE superstar, is going to be in it. And it looks like we're seeing um, Kara and Moff Gideon in the next episode. Nice. Because they're in the credits here. Oh, and also Green <clears throat> Karga. Yep. Kara. Kara. Carl with Kara. Um, She's a... Uh, the girl, Gina Carino. That he met in that village, that she was living there. Oh, the ox girl? Yeah. Word. The ox girl. <laughs> the ox girl. She's fire. So Deadpool, and from yeah, Marvel, yeah. The superhero landing, <laughs> right? And so yeah, so uh, I'm not gonna watch any pull of you, not watch any trailers to any episodes because we did that for the boys, or at least I did, and I enjoyed it. I don't watch trailers for shows. Yeah, I think it's pointless. Like, you I'm know what's interesting about the trailers for Mando? Because I see them like after. They don't really. Show Dude, shit. They don't they, bro, they anything. dropped one trailer. For, well, they dropped little things here and there, like, oh, in five days. Yeah. And they mm-hmm. show you a couple new clips here and there. Yeah. But, like, an official, official trailer, they, I think they only dropped one. And right. this was, like, three weeks ago. It's like, oh, look what's coming in three weeks. And, like, a two minute trailer. And yeah. again, yeah, I watched yeah. it because it was, pheno- it was a phenomenal trailer. Didn't show much. Mm. And I was, it, it mostly, you know what it mostly showed? What? The the first episode. The first, really? Yeah. Usually they do that. It's like, here's the first episode. That's yeah, it. because <laughs> the thing, the, the I guess you can have a master class on how to shoot a, a great trailer. It's just no dialogue. Don't say anything. I think you can... I think you can have voiceovers. Like, yeah, little like, little like, little sound bites here and there yeah, over, don't show over the, the action. Where the dialogue is from. Exactly. But just show the... Show, like, have the dialogue and, like, have it be intense, like, over... Yeah, and cool looking scenes and stuff. Exactly. Maybe, yeah. Right. But also, you again, leave leave more to the imagination. Right. Where we're almost going. What the fuck? Because like that Dunkirk trailer. Yeah, like like right. Dunk, yeah, a Christopher Nolan trailer, as far as I remember, leaves you at the end going, "What? I need a. Yes. I guess I need to watch <laughs> that. <Tenet. Tenet. laughs> Which oh my we God, still have not watched. Watch that. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah. It, it made four million in the box office, bro. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know how much. Uh, that's pretty close, actually. I'll really? Look it up, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that. I mean, is there anything else to cover for this episode? Um, I don't think so. Hopefully, we're not missing anything. I mean, I hate, no. I hate when we miss I like know. big things. When we sit, when we sit, when like we as soon as we stop recording. Oh fuck! But I think for the most part, we covered everything. We yeah. covered our tracks in terms of what we want to see for the rest of the season, what we're expecting. Yeah. So, so far, I'm one for one for challenges. Thank you. We are much. one for one. So okay, we should yeah we should make up a new thing. We each get what two challenges. Two challenges a, a show or a pod. A, a pod, yeah. Yeah, two challenges a pod. That you could throw. And then, oh, I also like would like to make a bet. Oh. Um, I will take a shot for every episode of Filler. Oh, God. What, so what do I do? Who, who, so, who so, say it's a filler or not? Okay. Do you want me every, 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 shot, every episode that's not a filler, I have to take a shot? No, no, that's no. Like no. It's, it's for me. It's for me. It's for me because you're driving, bro. Um, okay. 
I bet I'm driving now. <laughs> Who's the referee? Chill, chill, chill. No, you guys are witnesses. For every episode that you consider, you go, oh, that was kind of flat. That's filler. I challenge that, right? So we, let's make it a bit fair. Oh. And then me and Brian decide? Exactly, yeah. And, and, and then we and, leave and it if up. I lose, I'll take a shot. If you want to. I'm not forcing you to do anything. If I, okay, if I'm not driving home that night, which I'm usually not, I'll take a shot. Okay. This episode is not sponsored by Heineken Light or Reposado. <laughs> Reposado. Or Monster. Or Monster. Or Monster. Or Watchmen. Or the <laughs> or anything, anything on this table. Anything in this room besides that. Yeah. We're we sponsored are, by us. We're sponsored by ourselves. Us. Shout out Karan. Shout out the nice guys. Karan. But yeah, y'all. I think we good? we're off to a great start. Yeah. Um, we are going to absolutely try to do a, another reaction video. Um, so you guys Mid could season, watch that. Mid-season, so on, episode four? I mean, I'm saying for like each episode. Like if... I don't know if I can do every episode. Yeah. All right. right. That, I that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm just... I'm down. I'm just yeah, saying. You, definitely get, you guys can definitely do it. I can't, but I'll, I'll, I'll be there saying. for the reviews. Okay, you can stop talking. I'm just saying. Get bodied. Get bodied. Yo, he's like, I don't know if I can make it every episode. Every episode, I can't make it. I just said it once. You said the Calm same down. thing five times. Relax. I didn't say it five, five times. Five times. Oh, my, oh my grip. Thank you. Relax. Um, but Get now, we will try and do a reaction to every every episode. Most likely not possible, but we will try our best to do as much as we can. No, we are doing we it. Will, We'll, we will definitely be doing a review for every episode. That's without question. You could listen to here. Um, Anchor, Apple Music. I hope we're on Amazon. I didn't see us on Amazon yet. Spotify? Amazon has podcasts yeah, I think, I still, I, think really? we're still, mm-hmm. I think we're still sorting out the paperwork for that. <laughs> <laughs> and Spotify, of course. Big time Spotify. How do you see that? Um, it's, what? Just, it's, a, it's on the app? Yeah, it's just on it's an app, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for listening. Um we're going to see y'all next week. There's no real news. Nothing, besides, right? Yeah, I was just going to stop you and go, wait, wait, hold on. Besides the one thing where it's Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac has not officially been cast as Moon Knight, but he it does seem a- like he is in talks. Nine times out of ten turns out to be true. Nine point nine 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 yeah. nine nine. Because I remember nine, when, nine when they were times. like, oh, Sam Raimi is in talks to direct... Doctor Strange I need, too. Oh, I can and remember then, the last time it's been in talks, and I don't see it. Now. Right? Yeah, it's all oh, so like it, when all the big trades are reporting it and saying, um, "What's the term? What's the official term that we were arguing that other day?" Sources. Um, no, sources. 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 So no. the S, right? Oh, in talks. Oh, approached. No. Oh, t- uh, um, uh, it's getting closer. Tagged. Getting warmer. Uh, Tag- no. Tapped. Tapped. Thank tapped. You. Tapped. 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 Yeah, when these ta- when someone's tapped to play the role, they got it. Yo, are you tapped? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what my thing yeah. is you know with that it's probably like they're probably just still in negotiations but it's looking like yeah it's move. looking like the move. Like, everything is like given the okay they just still need to just sign and and usually when a studio or a casting director finds someone that they want they they're gonna do what they can yeah, to, absolutely. To, to have absolutely. Them exactly yeah how much you want fine what do you and guys what do you guys think about that casting though you like it fantastic love it hold on let me call Oscar right now <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine, like, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a great casting, and I think this is a great re- uh, redemption for Oscar Isaac. Not, not in the sense of, see, he bought, I, he bought a shit on Apocalypse. Apocalypse was not a good look. It was not a. It was. It just wasn't good. But I don't think but I've that ever was, heard was anyone. That his latest movie? What was that? His latest like well, big no. time movie? I thought he was. was no, no, no. He, no. he uh, was in Star Wars as, as Paul Dameron, but right. I'm saying comic book movie wise. I mean, comic book film wise, and he's also voicing Spider Man. Um, oh yeah, Gabriel, uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. But yeah. the thing is, I I just I just hope that um, the the talks like go fine. I'm right. sure they will. Um, from what I'm hearing, everything's going smooth. <laughs> do you do you think do you think it was his fault for Apocalypse, or do you think it was? I'm not blaming him for Apocalypse how it turned out. I'm just saying it just wasn't a good look for him mm. on the stat sheet. Okay. Wasn't his best look. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Hey, nice. Apocalypse was a masterpiece. Don't at me. All right, it wasn't oh. a masterpiece, but it was good. Ooh. And, <laughs> and the last bit of thing, which we could even do our own podcast on, but we're just going to limit it to um, just awareness, really, was Ray Fisher and what he said about Josh Whedon. Um, so he had an interview recently um, with... Um, Forbes, yeah, it was Forbes, and this this is word this is verbatim what he said. What is that? Um, 
What set my soul on fire and forced me to speak out about Joss Whedon this summer was my becoming informed that Joss had ordered that the complexion of an actor of color be changed in post-production because he didn't like the color of their skin, Richard uh, Fisher firmly stated. Man, with everything 2020's been, that was the tipping point for me. Whedon did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Wait, so that happened in 2020? No, no, he so learned he, he learned that Joss was changing like skin tones in post production. Oh, gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Well, again, not I believe Ray. I think he's telling the truth, not confirmed by like sources or anything, but the fact that Joss isn't speaking out is sus boy. Because if someone's throwing dirt on my name and it's not true, I'm be like, yo, this is not true. This is false. <clears throat> or my or my team, like yeah. my my you know, my your press. PR, your PR yeah. guys. They're going to be like, jump this on is it. not true. The fact that Joss and his team has been completely silent on this matter is very alarming. So that's all that's I'm going to say on it. I mean, but... What's the excuse? If it's a, not true, very, what's the excuse? This is a very interesting legal, situation. Legal shit. Maybe? Again, that's why I want to save it for a podcast topic yeah. of itself because this is a very big thing, especially and, in Hollywood. And also, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Damn, what the fuck? Yo, we're going to get Josh and Ray. <laughs> yeah, get this man some water. Yeah, I know. The voice modulator is fucked up. <laughs> what I'm saying is that this is important for Hollywood. Yeah. Holding, holding these powerful men accountable for what allegedly they did. And I'm not saying allegedly to be on the freaking contrarian side of, about it. Right. Just, it's just, we don't know. We don't know. For I sure. don't know shit, dude. Yep. This is, this, Mark don't even know anything. And he works over there, so. <laughs> Mark does not technically work. Uh, yeah. Please, thank you, thank you for saying that. All right, come on, guys. <laughs> My just, point is, is I that. Just we'll call, I, I just don't want to get called for a deposition, bro. That's no, he, he won't because. He runs it. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's conflict of interest. Saying you own the company. Yeah. <laughs> it's conflict of interest, but, but what is we'll just, important. We'll just talk to Eunice. We'll ask Eunice. Or, oh yeah, yeah, DC ambassador Eunice. That I don't think. What do you think, bro? Yo, Eunice, uh, does work. For Eunice, DC Eunice, you, you got anything to say about that, bro? My name is Jeff. I bet. Nice. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, guys, uh, that's a whole topic, bro. That that we could spend hours on. Yeah, for well, sure. Well, if like, Ray, like our last podcast, yeah. where we talked about it. Yeah. Hold my grip. Yeah. Well, Ray, if you are telling the truth, this is the way. This is the way, yeah. This is the yes, way. Yes, sir. But what is the way? Oh, all right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>